Greetings and welcome to Fireflink Tutorials. In this video, we will showcase two methods for adding dynamic elements within the repository section. You can incorporate dynamic UI elements into your project's repository using either Fireflink Finder or opt for the manual approach. As the first alternative to effectively capture and store dynamic elements using the Fireflink Finder tool, follow these simple steps. Begin by launching Fireflink Finder tool. Here, we'll utilize a web application. It's important to mention that you can also capture dynamic elements for mobile or enterprise-based applications using a similar approach. Now, enter the desired URL into the designated text field. Fireflink Finder's integrated browser will load the web page. Take note of the checkbox labeled, Enable Element Reference Mode. This feature allows effortless capturing of dynamic elements. Activate the Enable Element Reference Mode checkbox and initiate the recording process by clicking the Record button. Let's consider an example where the aim is to capture the Add to Cart button for a product with a fluctuating product name. During the recording process, start by selecting the reference or static element, which will be Add to Cart button in this case. Then, proceed to select the expected element, which is the dynamic part, such as the product name. After successfully completing these two steps, finalize the process by clicking the Stop Recording button. To add the dynamic element to the repository, select the Elements page. Next, proceed to move them to the appropriate page by following straightforward steps. You would have now successfully added a dynamic element to your repository using Fireflink Finder tool. Directly head to the repository, where you will notice the successful addition of the dynamic element onto its respective page. Interact with this dynamic element by accessing the Edit button. Convert the static element to dynamic by using the drop-down menu. Identify the dynamic value, in this case, the product name, that is enclosed in single quotes. Utilize the open curly bracket, then select the dynamic value from the drop-down options, and confirm your choice by clicking Update. Another approach is to follow a manual addition of dynamic elements. Within the repository's Project Elements page, select the desired page, then click the drop-down and choose Add Element, and select Add Manually. This action will open a Create Element pop-up. In this window, you can enter the variable's name, and choose its type. Proceed to the Locator list, where you'll set the locator type as XPath and the value type as Dynamic. Insert the dependent independent XPath for the product name, as illustrated before. Just like earlier, identify the dynamic value. Use the open curly brackets to select a dynamic value from the drop-down. Confirm your selection by clicking Create. In summary, we have demonstrated two methods for adding a dynamic element to the Fireflink repository. We appreciate your time spent watching this video. For more comprehensive details, please visit www.fireflink.com and schedule a free demo today.